You know we got you, right? You know we got you, right? You know we got you. You know we got you. You got to look at that. Welcome home. I'm just a kid from North Philly uh, who just loved a game of basketball. Loved a game of basketball. Good afternoon, Give him a starfuck. Her own Gerard jersey. <laughs> you can hang this in your house. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. We are at Gerard College, um, boarding school that I grew up in, spent most of my life. I've been here since first grade, but um, this is where it all began for me. As soon as I touched down at home, or let's rewind, even like playing in the playoffs, you know, a lot of people were like, yo, she from Philly, just posting on Instagram, posting on Twitter. And you know, I'm using the hashtag, just a kid from North Philly. But a lot of people are like, like, yo, she from Philly, like she from North, and just the love that comes with that. And um, people love to see you, you get out the hood and really like excel. So the love is like, is there. This young lady right here, she was your same age. She used to go here. She was in, she wasn't in this building in elementary. That I wasn't here, I was here. For the, your last second, year? Second grade, got here. Second oh, grade. second grade. First grade, right, right here. here, right here. She started off in that building, but she was the same age as you. And she started here at this wonderful school where she became this wonderful woman of basketball. I'm just saying that to you because you can do it, 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 all of you, you can do the same thing. Remember, you are part of a family that has great history, because this is really your big sister, right here. <laughs> Philly Hoopers are, are different because we got this natural swag to us. We got this natural, um, just like, yeah, like she from Philly. Just the way we carry ourselves, super competitive. Um, gonna talk a little little to you and we gonna talk to you a little bit, but I think it's the, the swag and the, the competitiveness and the, the toughness. I grew up watching on. You know, we from the same same hood. It's crazy because I, I grew up on 32nd and Berks, but when I was a little older, I moved to 23rd and Diamond, the Raymond Rosen Projects. And that's where Dawn is from. And, you know, she grew up in Hank Gathers. I could just uh, watch her play. And then when I got older, you know, she was at Temple. So just to see her go from player um, to, you know, highest level WNBA Olympian and then into that coaching, I just admire her so much because of how smooth her transition was. You know, it's never that easy for everybody, but I think Dawn just paved the way for um, women's basketball here in North. I have so much respect for Dawn because, you know, she she made it out, but she never forgot where she came from. Um, she's always acknowledging the fact that she's from Philly and not just Philly, but North Philly. And I think that's why I, I am the same way. Um, it's important to, you know, when you make it, uh, to never forget where you came from because where you come from has really uh, molded you and made you who you are. And I think that um, Dawn has just been like real. You know, even at USA Basketball when I when I would go there to the trials and stuff, you know, she's always just greeting me like North Philly. Like it's always super genuine, and um, I I can just relate so so well to her. So I just that's why I love her. We came in in the Phoenix. We knew that they had just came off of, of a game five, you know, just playing. Some people were banged up, some people were hurt. Didn't matter to us. We came in like we about to run them into the ground. They not gonna be able to keep up with us. So I think that how we tackle that that first game, it really set the tone for the series. Yo, this 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 shouldn't even be like a, a big thing. Like this shit should be occurring like frequently. Only because like like they expect us to just tiptoe around shit on the court like no, like, if we, we the best at what we do, like, we should be able to be competitive, we should be able to talk a little shit, like, I should be able to push somebody if I want to, like, we, everybody cool at the end of the day, but I think game two, like, it, it got a little, got a little chippy, but 
at the end of the day, I'm just trying to like get an extra possession for my team. Um, and I ain't gonna let nobody talk no shit to me, period. It's just not gonna happen. Um, but that's just it. I, it ain't, ain't nothing too crazy. I mean, I wanna chip, you know, ain't nothing. So I think I was in first grade and uh, Mr. Kaufman, we had um, got these little plates and we were just making a portrait of ourselves. And uh, I guess that's what I looked like in uh, when I was in first grade. And I'm, wow. Just to come back and see this still here, it's just historic and it's just legendary. And I just love that we, we have this and we have something to come back to. And I'm just a part of a very special family. Did you, uh, did you imagine that when you made that drawing, that when you came back, <laughs> you would be someone that could have such an impact for the students? Wow, didn't have a clue. Um, but to be able to come back and inspire young girls that look like me, is from where I'm from, uh, it's truly a blessing. Wow. That's what I used to look like. <laughs> 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 so somebody might come and see something that you do later. Oh, oh look at him! Oh, 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 you didn't get it? Oh, you get it too. I just like had a short reflection on the season and a short reflection just on my journey. Um, I think that I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change the timing. I wouldn't change anything because, you know, you go through everything you go through for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, the timing. And uh, I just, that short reflection was just like, like, damn, like everything was worth it. Like every single thing that I, I went through was worth it. You know, back, back to COVID before uh, we knew we were having a bubble season, you know, I was, shooting in a fucking cafeteria like we was trying to figure out a way like I need to get in a gym like no I need a gym like it's, I gotta go shoot somewhere I gotta go get better I'm in the driveway hooping with my coach like and I just think like I was really like I was really working so I'm like shit I deserve this shit like I I deserve it so that short reflection was just like damn like I did that so this was a big year a big season for me uh first time all-star uh, won a championship and finals MVP. Um, should have been on one of them defensive teams, but whatever. I, I guess that's what's next on the list. But I think next year I'm a I'm a really lock in on being that defender. Um, I, I was that for our team, but I want to be like I take pride in being that two way player because there's not too many in the league. So uh, when you can go go down and get a bucket and come down and get a stop and give them a little of this, like that's that's tough. So nah, that's what I'm just trying to be. I'm just a kid from North Philly who just loved the game of basketball, loved my family, loved my friends, um, big on loyalty, but uh, super quiet off the court, but dog on the court. Y'all gonna see it, but that's me. Can you, can you put them on your lap, please? That's a good one. Look, Sonny. Oh, he's my king. Yes. Go, Sonny. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's why I need to. Oh, no, I love it. No, I love it. <laughs>